Alright guys, a much more series preview here. Talking Arizona State and UCLA. Uh, here's where the wheels really come off. This is going to be a very tough game for the Bruins. Uh, first of all, UCLA is ranked near the bottom of almost every offensive category and defensive category, while ASU is ranked near the top in the conference of each of those cat stat categories. Uh, the you know, ASU in the past used to have a bad running game, used to have a mediocre offensive line, and quarterback situation was below average, but they finally have that. Erickson has finally brought some good talent there. Uh, you know, Dennis, Dennis Erickson uh, brought in, like, Brock Osweiler, who's been a much better quarterback than the other quarterbacks he's had, like Sullivan and, and uh, Carpenter and even Sakazy. they much better quarterback. Then they, they can run the ball well for once. Uh, they... Because running the ball has been an issue for them over the years because their offensive line was bad. The Bruins need to show their athleticism on the defensive line. Uh, somehow the defensive line has not been the biggest strength for the Bruins it was supposed to be. It kind of it looked good for one week. Is it a one-week wonder or is it better? You know, Dayton Jones was moved to the middle of the off uh, sorry in the middle of the defensive line, and it worked out very well. Uh, finally, we had a pass rush. We finally got some sacks. I mean. Maybe that's a blessing in disguise. Uh, linebackers, they got to play much better. Got to play a near flawless game if they want to stop Arizona State's offense. Secondary's been all right. It hasn't been as bad as other games. They still can't play scared. Uh, got The biggest key, of course, will be winning the turnover battle. If, if we do that, we have a chance. If we lose the turnover battle, we are pretty much screwed this game. Uh, now on the other side of the ball, the offense... Yeah, Arizona State's pretty much known for their defense. Erickson has always gotten good defensive recruits, uh, and Vontae's perfect being the one star that they do have on the linebacker's core. There are times, though, I think he can have a few brain farts and he'll, he'll commit some dumb penalties. Uh, ASU can commit penalties, and we got to really kind of take advantage of that if they do commit them because uh, their defense is supposed to stop everyone, theoretically speaking. We can run the ball pretty effectively. I, I'd like to see Derek Coleman get more carries than Jonathan Franklin in this game. I think Coleman has shown he's the much more effective running back. No offense to Franklin and Jetski, but the, uh, Coleman, I, I liked what I've been saying. Even against Texas, he had a good game. He's He's been able to run the ball well. Teams have had trouble stopping him on individual runs, if you've watched him. He, he doesn't have the yards because he doesn't get much carries. So i like to see Coleman get the ball much more. Uh, Prince... If he runs the game smart and runs the pistol effectively, we can. There's that outside chance we win this game. Uh, they, I know we were up like 17 to nothing last game. I think it was 17 to nothing, and then we blew the defense, and everyone just collapsed at once. It was like 55, 30 something. I forgot what the exact score was, but it was pretty rough. Uh, the receivers got to play much better. I hope those receivers who got suspended learn their lesson. Play a bit better, because guys like Taylor Embry are just scrubs. It, it's embarrassing. Uh, <laughs> the offensive line has gotten its uh, rotation a bit, but it's all going to depend on Kevin Prince on offense. If he can run the pistol effectively, whether it's zone, whether it's reading reading the option, reading the defense, if he can do that effectively, there's that chance we could get down the field. But when it comes to throwing the ball, it's going to be nervous. He's got to make smart decisions, uh, the coaching Hopefully they don't call too many pass plays in the beginning because that's what screwed us against Texas. They called these dumb pass plays. They turned into interceptions, and, you know, we were down 21 to nothing, which sucks. So we got ways to go. The special teams like to see, you know, good luck to Gonzalez if he has to make a long one. He's done a pretty good job for a soccer manager for this team. And uh, Jeff Locke, I hope he's healthy because I know he got dinged up against Cal with a cheap shot. So... Let me know what you guys think of this game. Uh, but go Bruins, and let's be, let's pull the upset on these Devils. Go Bruins.